Hi, what I wanted to talk to you about today is the control center and the notification area of the iPhone and the iPad. As you see here, I have both the iPhone and the iPad showing. And to get to the control center, all you have to do is you have to drag from the bottom to the top and it brings up the menu. As you saw, I did it on the iPad and I did it on the iPhone. And they both have very similar settings. At the very top here, you will see all these different buttons that access different settings. I'll go over them. Over here is the airplane mode. What that does is puts the device into airplane mode while you're on a plane, or which turns off the Wi-Fi as well as the cellular if you have that on your device. This turns the Wi-Fi on and off. You have the Bluetooth uh, setting, which just comes in kind of handy where you can turn this on and off at any time. The Do Not Disturb feature, which can be turned on and off right from here. Um, and on the iPad, you have uh, access to the ringer, which you can turn on and off right from um, here, where the iPhone does not have that. And then, of course, you can turn on and off the orientation. That's what this lock does. Both these sides also have the, the brightness, which is here, and the volume control for the sound. As you see, you have access to the sound on both the iPad and the iPhone. Uh, depending on the app that is driving the actual sound, in the case of the iPad phone here, you see the tune in radio. I can, I can push play and actually be, actually be able to play the broadcast. As well as here, the music is, is ready to go here. Um, AirDrop is accessible here as well. What AirDrop is, is to allow you to be able to copy files from one iOS device to another. And this is AirPlay, and of course you see this here because um, I am actually broadcasting both devices onto my computer. Now over here is you have the, if you push this, it'll actually bring you to the clock. It does the same thing on the iPhone. It gives you settings, accessibility for that. Let me go back. As well as you can take a picture right from a device just by tapping the button. And you don't have to actually go into the camera to get to that. So it's a quick, it's a quick button right to the camera. Uh, same thing on the i on the i phone, but a couple things that are different. The iPhone also has a flashlight, which is this button here. Uh, the ca the clock, which you just saw, this also has access to the calculator right from the bottom. That's the control center. Now I want to show you the notification center. If you so the control center, you go from the bottom up. Well, the notification center, you go from the top down. So what you do is you grab, go to the top of the frame and grab it. Same thing on the iPhone. Now what you'll see is the first place you're going to come to here is the Today screen. So this will show you your calendar, anything you got going on tomorrow, and you can edit it right from here. Um, this also has a place where you can add widgets. Um, on the iPhone here, I've got some widgets already installed. As you see here, I've got uh, Yahoo Sports and others. Uh, let me go to the iPad and I'll actually show you how to add that. Specific apps can be actually added to the notification center. Um, in this case, I didn't have any in the iPad, whereas on the iPhone, I've got lots of other different apps here. Uh, a couple apps that are available out there as well is uh, there's an app called PCAL Lite that uh, actually interfaces a calculator right from within the, within the notification center, as, where, as well as Neato, where it uh, allows you to actually send text right from the notification center. Now if you wanted to add any apps to that notification center, uh, let's say I want to add open table. So I tap the plus sign, click done on, the, on either device, and you'll notice your open table now comes up and it's going to show any open reservations. Uh, I've got some other apps installed here as well. There's uh, Any app that has any information that drives from it will actually show up in this notification. So it's pretty pretty nifty. It gives you a lot of great information in that today screen. Now the notifications is a different one. Here's on the iPhone. Here's on the iPad. Um, it will show any any apps that have notifications that you have turned on will actually show what you've actually got here. Same thing with the iPhone. It has all the notifications. So any, any, any app that has notifications will actually give you the information right from the notification center. That's my review of the notification center and the control center. I hope you like this. If you'd like to see more things like this, please let me know.